Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Before we dive into today's hot topic, a quick reminder, if you love our content and want to see more independent and critical analyses, especially from a conservative perspective, don't forget to subscribe. Also, we're fueled by your support. If you appreciate our efforts in bringing you the unfiltered truth, please consider donating through the link in the description. Your contributions keep this channel thriving. Now, let's get into it. In recent political developments, it seems like the chessboard of North American politics is getting more intriguing by the day. While Donald Trump's presence looms large in the United States, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is playing a high-stakes game, and not everyone is convinced it's the right move. Let's set the scene. Trump, despite all controversies, is gaining traction in the U.S., and his potential re-election bid is stirring the pot. Meanwhile, Trudeau is seemingly capitalizing on the anti-Trump sentiment prevalent among many Canadians. But here's the twist, he's linking Pierre Polyev, a rising star in Canadian conservatism, with Trump's political style, painting them both with the same brush of reckless and unhinged politics. But why does this matter? Because Trudeau's strategy is a double-edged sword. On one hand, it could consolidate his support base, appealing to those wary of Trump's influence. On the other, it risks alienating voters who may not see Polyev in the same light as Trump, potentially backfiring spectacularly. It's a bold move, but is it smart politics or a desperate grasp at straws? Now, let's not forget Trump's recent remarks. In a speech at the Conservative Political Action Conference, he targeted Trudeau for what he termed woke tyranny, especially criticizing Trudeau's handling of COVID-19 mandates. This ramps up the tension and adds another layer to the already complex relationship between U.S. and Canadian politics. The stakes are high, and the implications vast. If Trump secures a victory in the U.S., it could reset the entire political landscape in Canada, making the next election not just about Trudeau or Polyev, but about Canada's relationship with an America under Trump's leadership. But here's a critical question, is Trudeau's game plan a strategic masterstroke or a political miscalculation? And how will this affect Canada's future, especially if Trump returns to power? Let's not forget, Politics is not just about the present, it's about setting the stage for the future. Trudeau's maneuvers today could define Canada's tomorrow. And with the U.S. as a close neighbor, the ripple effects of American politics are inevitable. So, where does this leave us? In a world of political chess, Trudeau and Trump are players with their unique strategies. But as history teaches us, in politics, like in chess, one wrong move can topple a king. That's it for today's analysis. What do you think about Trudeau's strategy? Is it a smart move or a risky gamble? Share your thoughts or your opinion in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and if you appreciate our independent and critical approach to news, remember to support us by donating. Every contribution helps us continue delivering the news that matters. See you in the next video!